Welcome to Irvin Data Modeler tutorial. In this uh, video, we'll be discussing about the query tool in Irvin. Using the query tool, I can connect to a particular database. Uh, like in here, I'll connect to a SQL Server database and perform queries on the tables. Okay, or uh, I'll disconnect uh, from the database here, or I can actually connect to the model using Irvin ODBC. Okay, so I connect it to the model uh, using this icon here, and I'll show a quick demo on TY. So this table uh, entity will give me information about all the entities that are present in my model and what are their uh, physical names. Okay, the physical name currently you will see here is in, in, in a macro. Uh, format. Uh, we'll apply function on it and get the physical name for it. All this information you can find in a document called Irvin Data Modeler ODBC Reporting Guide. You can quickly search in Google and you'll get this document. And it, this document describes the structure of the tables and how to join these two tables to get the relevant information. Okay, so what you've seen here is just a quick query on the entity table. Uh, I'll go through each uh, like the entity and then the attribute table uh, to describe uh, how to do a quick join and get the required information from it okay so uh, I'm running this query on the entity table okay uh, the name column here is uh, the column which gives me the logical names the physical name is the default physical name that you're seeing here on how it is in a macro format and then I'm using a function called tran on the physical name again and this function gives me the display value of it so uh, a logical name say a student uh, when it undergoes the macro conversion and then the naming standards it's end up as stud and the tran function does all of that and gives us the value okay as you can see here as expected the logical name student and the physical macro uh, physical name is macro I applied the trend function and I got the uh, physical name of the table similarly I have a table called attribute uh, which has the attribute name data types and and then the physical names are again in macro uh, which will use the trend function again to convert it okay so the physical name as you can see here is attribute name once I apply trend uh, function on it it actually gave me the physical name of the columns but you see here even the logical name of the attribute here is shown in um, macros that's because we used domains to create these attributes so what I'll do is I'll add one more column with the trend function and what this will do is it will actually give us the logical names uh, of the uh, attributes like once the macros are all uh, you know executed so now uh, I would like to run a report where I just have a table name uh, you know the column name and the data type of the column and that I can do uh, by joining this um, okay the, the way this works is I'm joining the entity table with the attribute table okay the ID column in the entity is a unique ID for each entity and in the attribute call in the attribute table the owner column is like a foreign key uh, from the entity table you, you can think of it that way or the owner ID uh, corresponds to the unique ID uh, of the entity for which uh, we have the columns okay so once I join on these two tables I get what I'm looking for I have this uh, logical name and the physical table name the logical um, attribute definition and the column name and the physical data type uh, what I can do here is uh, for the attribute name I can as well apply the trend function here so that we don't have to see those macros 
so this is what I was looking for and possibly what I want to do is actually discuss uh, with the developer or the DBA and I just want to uh, avoid even using the entire uh, logical and the attribute uh, scenario so I'll just get the information on the table name column name and the data type yep and now I have the option of either saving the query okay once I say query it will uh, save the query as uh, extension dot qry or I can save the results as well in a CSV and I can use this CSV file uh, open it and you know uh, have a discussion with the developer or the DBA okay if you have any issue actually connecting to Owen uh, ODBC what you can try doing is actually launching Owen as an administrator and uh, you can also generate reports on the Owen model uh, like what you're seeing here the table name column name physical name probably the relationship name uh, whatnot uh, you can using the crystal reports uh, it's disabled for me here because I'm using the community edition uh, but it does allow me uh, to run some uh, basic reports so I'll just run one of the reports to show you um, how a crystal report would look like I'll just select this available values and say click OK and there you go it, it generates a neat report um, if I were to have a regular uh, urban edition uh, I can launch crystal reports developer and there I can actually uh, design my report in the sense that I, I can just say okay give me just the table name uh, the column name the physical data type and it would generate a report in uh, using crystal reports developer uh, so uh, in this video what we discussed is how to uh, I mean how to use query tool and and how a crystal report would look like and uh, uh, hope you find this information useful and thanks a lot for watching